weekend and now be postponed. And Western Mass News reporter Matt Price is getting us answers on how hard that decision was and impacting the Dragon Boat Festival in Springfield. I am uh, sad and disappointed to report that we have postponed the festival. Very unfortunate news Wednesday from the Pioneer Valley Riverfront Club's executive director, Ben Quick. For the first time since 2020, there will not be an annual Dragon Boat Festival at Springfield's North Riverfront Park. Despite eight months of planning, Quick tells Western Mass News it was a unanimous decision from the internal committee and public safety officials. Between the river flooding, weather forecast, the population who will be participating, we need to take their safety into mind first and foremost. For eight years, the festival has featured companies, teams, and organizations racing in dragon boats in the Connecticut River. But the severe weather in the past couple of weeks has caused the water levels to rise. As a result, the current is still moving fast, which is the club's major concern. Quick also tells us there are questions about water quality and debris, as 500 participants were set to participate with hundreds looking to watch. At the moment, it's uh, almost unnoticeable, but it is also highly variable. Uh, and water quality is always a concern. People are noticing right now the river is very brown. This is a result of the millions of gallons of runoff from uh, upstream from us. Quick called the final outcome difficult and heart-wrenching, but says many of the participants he has contacted so far have remained positive. The response so far has been unanimously uh, supportive, sympathetic, and um, appreciative that we have their safety in mind. And Quick says there are still programs on tap for the rest of the season. We have youth rowing and adult rowing and dragon boating practice will continue. While there will be no dragon boats seen on the Connecticut River this weekend, Quick hopes the event will be made up before midfall. In Springfield, Matt Price, Western Mass News.